Hello everyone. Honestly, I, I find it so annoying when people keep talking about the fact that oh, uh, citizens should organize themselves and fight these terrorists and, and all of that. With what will they organize themselves? With what? With what? Where is the money to organize themselves? Do you know what it is to carry arms? Is it then guns that they're going to use? First of all, carrying arms is illegal in, in, in Nigeria. A lot of time, even these people years back when they tried to organize themselves and get some not even all these automatic guns then guns and all of that the nigerian soldiers nigerian military police and everything went after and were killing people today we are blaming the victims telling them that oh they are not fighting back how are they supposed to fight back with what are they supposed to fight back? these are people who are carrying ak-47 who are carrying sophisticated weapons like even sometimes our military we say they have more weapons than than even the military is it the ones that you are not asking poor villagers people in the villages that they should come up come together and go and get arms and do what what then is the use of government what then is the use of government any government that cannot protect the lives and properties of its people is not fit to be called a government that's where the issue should be that's where our focus should be not the one that we see that we're blaming uh, people that are being killed we're blaming the 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 the, 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 uh, the civilians the citizens, the victims that are being killed, they did what they could do. They, this uh, uh, play two state, uh, play two massacre that happened, they had intelligence. They relayed the intelligence. They could see these people uh, gathering, yet the government did nothing. Yet uh, 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 military did nothing. Security agencies did nothing. The illegitimate government that we had, the people that rigged this way into, into office, and 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 went there. He is not interested in saving lives and properties. He's only interested in enjoying and whatever the the pecks of 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 government. That's all he's interested in. Not lives and property. And then we're sitting down also. We are blaming these people. We are telling them that oh they, they've not they, they they are not coming out to protest enough. Or they are not coming out to do this. Or they are not coming out to to do that. They have, they are, they are running. They are, they, they are literally fighting for their lives. That's what it means. They're literally fighting for their lives. They don't have the, they don't have the luxury of doing a lot of things that we can do. They don't have the luxury of thinking the way we can do. Every day they are on the edge. Every day they are thinking this could be the last day. This could be the day when they are taken. And most times they are taken. People are grieving, and then we are telling them that oh, they are not protecting themselves. What then is the is, is the useless government doing? What then is the illegitimate government doing? Taking our money, taking our taxes, taking our resources to do what? Just to enjoy their lives?